Hi, and welcome to the third video of Sean Scratch Coding Lessons. Today we're going to be making a gunshot game, which you can actually shoot guns by pressing space, and you have to try to hit the board. Here, now you have a cat. Again, let's delete the sprite. And let's switch the backdrop to something we want. I, I'll choose maybe... Which one should I do? Blue sky. How, how about that? Okay, now let's go into our sprites. And let's bring in the gun. Let's try to find a gun sprite here. Let's go to G. What? There are no guns. Then instead, let's use something else. Let's use something that looks like a gun. Candles. That looks pretty good. And let's move it in the end. Point to direction zero degrees so it's facing up and let's move it x zero y negative 100 what okay this is best <laughs> now let's get the gun I'll s I'll make the gun a sun here too big so let's set size to 20% is that enough okay that's pretty nice and we have to make it go X, zero, Y, negative, 100. Nice. Here. Pretty cool. Now, let's bring in the board. No, actually not create. Let's paint. First, I'll draw a rectangle. And five lines. It's okay if it's not really exact. I'm trying to really make it exact. And make sure to have no spaces in between them. A little, just a little bit of space changes the whole game. Now, let's paint it with colors. I'll make the end screen. Oh, and see what it'll look like when you don't do it well. So let's actually build a strong wall and let's fill these two with red. And finally the middle one yellow. And by clicking on this button, button, you can actually choose the middle of the sprite. 
which is pretty helpful. Here. And let's move it to maybe x negative 271 which is the max y let's make it 130 okay pretty nice and we have to make the sun actually disappear. And we'll have to make one space key pressed to actually bring in the sun. change y by 10 repeat until here you want to put a or because you're gonna have two things you want the Sun to go back if it touches the board or the edge so let's bring in those But I hope you are understanding what these scripts mean because then there's no point of actually learning because this is a lesson. Touching. Sprite one. Let's actually name it board because then it's easier to see. And we have to make the rotation style left to right. Here. Now, let's duplicate the script so it goes back. And we'll also have to hide. Now let's try. nice and we have to make the board go forwards and backwards now when green flag clicked repeat forever and let's make it go move mm, maybe eight steps and we want to if it touch the edge it bounces now let's try do you think it's a little too big Let's actually make it smaller. But sorry, there's no, there's actually no, or is there? Of course there is. Scratch lets you shrink the size of the board by converting it to vector and clicking the first button. Here now, it's small enough. 
Let's actually make it a little slower. Six. And we want score. Make a variable for all sprites. Make sure this one is clicked it or else no you cannot use this variable in other sprites. Variable name score. And here let's go to the sun script. Let's Let's bring in a new script. Here, when green flag clicked, repeat forever. If touching color Let's actually stop. green now then we want the score to change by one and if we touch the red we want the score to change by two and if we hit yellow we want the score to change by three Let's try. It's working. Another three points. Okay. Now let's try this again. Oh, whoops. The score didn't go back to zero. We have to program that. We have to make it set score to zero. Actually, and one thing you want to do is make it make the board go actually randomly. Pick random from four to ten. Let's try. This is gonna be really hard then. And here, and we want time. Make a variable time. Let's move the time here and go to the board script or whatever sprite you want. When green flag clicked, let's set time to. How long do you want? Put in a number. And let's repeat it forever. Change time by negative one. So the time decreases, decreases. And when time is zero, you want it to stop. Bring in the equals from operators and bring in the time button and you can actually just type zero in your keyboard but let's stop every no let's actually broadcast the message here let's bring in an invisible sprite 
click whatever one you want and make it go to x0, y0 which is the center and let's hide let's set ghost effect to 100 which makes it invisible and when it receives message 1 it's gonna say game game over and since we don't want the board moving let's bring in when I receive message 1 stop other scripts and sprites and bring that to every sprites let's try what let's see what's happening oh look at the time what's happening let's go to the time oh and we have to put wait one seconds so the time is actually 60 seconds okay now it's good Okay, my game is working pretty well. And the time is almost running out. Let's see if the game over script will work well. Working well. And finally, name this project to gun shoot or whatever you want that's it for today bye see you next time